Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Here, what the question says, in the arrangement shown, the spring of force constant 600 Newton per meter is in the unstretched position. The coefficient of friction between the two blocks is 0 0.4 and that between the lower block and ground surface is 0. If both the blocks are displaced slightly and released, the system executes SHM, simple harmonic motion, then we have find out A, find time period of their oscillations if they do not sleep with respect to each other. And uh, B, what is the maximum amplitude of the oscillations for which sliding between them does not occur. Here we see that this small block which having the mass is 2 kilogram is placed over a bigger block which having the mass is 4 kilogram and the friction between the, these two blocks is uh, friction coefficient mu equal to 0 0.4 and this smaller block is connected with the spring and other end connected with the rigid wall. And uh, here spring coefficient is 600 Newton per meter is given. Here we have to find out the time period. The time period t equal to 2 pi root m. Here m is effective. You know that here small m or small block is placed over the bigger block and its beams to be oscillate means they are moving together. So therefore we have using effective mass by combining both the masses and k is the spring constant. Then t equal to 2 pi, uh, what is the mass of the bigger block is 4 kilogram and here is the 2 and 600 Then t equal to 2 pi 4 and 4 plus 2 means 6, 600 and uh, it is 1 by 100 means t equal to 2 pi 1 by 10 then 2 1 the 2, 2 5 the 10, 5, uh, 5 by 5. It's okay. Now, time period is uh, t equal to pi by 5. Here the second portion. What is the second portion? We have find out the amplitude. In this case, second portion is very, very important because all the frictional concept applying here. You can see that this small block m is kept over the bigger block. And this is connected with the spring and we have given that they are not sleep together. What does it mean? means here the friction is applied between this small m and capital M and, and this, this, this uh, frictional force between the ground and this there is nil means zero. There is no any frictional force between the ground and this bigger block. It means cause of this only cause of this uh, frictional force between the two blocks this is acting and so therefore limiting friction limiting friction equal to mu and normal force this is n, n means mg, small mg, it is very important. So here the frictional force mu, what is mu is given? 0 0.4, 0 0.4 and m is uh, 2 and g is 10, means 8 Newton. Okay, it is limiting friction. And second things very important, what is second things? Second things because this frictional force is equal to is equal to m into a. Why? Because this is moving together. So therefore, its acceleration, mass into acceleration equal to limiting friction equal to limiting friction. So it is equal to 8 Newton. Is it clear? What is the mass of the bigger block is 4 kilogram. Acceleration can be written as omega square and amplitude. So here, we have to find out amplitude then a equal to 8 by 4 omega square. 
फोर वन जा फोर फोर टू जा एट ए इक्वल टू टू बाय ओमेगा स्क्वेयर एंड वॉट इज ओमेगा स्क्वेयर नाउ यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव फाइंड आउट ऑलरेडी इन फर्स्ट पार्ट टाइम पीरियड इक्वल टू फाइव बाय फाइव इज इट क्लियर देन मल्टीप्लाई टू बोथ साइड न्यूमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर टू फाइव बाय टेन देन टेन इज ट्रांसपोजिंग टू द लेफ्ट साइड देन टू फाइव बाय टी दिस इज द ओमेगा मीन्स ओमेगा इक्वल टू टेन देन ओमेगा स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सो नाउ ओमेगा हियर एम्पलीट्यूड इक्वल टू टू बाय हंड्रेड okay it is in meter if we have to convert into centimeter then multiply by 100 so here a equal to 2 cm i hope so you understood this problem thank you for dear students staying till the ends of this video and i hope know that very well you are working very hard and if i will be a part of your success journey that it will be my pleasure but when more and more student will join with your success journey then it will be very great things thank you once again take care